talk about Jennifer Lopez's divorce. I didn't know that she changed her name to Jennifer Lynn Affleck. And now she's asking to return her name to Jennifer Lopez to restore it. All right, so what can we learn from Jennifer Lopez's divorce? Number one, she didn't have a prenuptial agreement when she married Ben Affleck. This marriage is about two-something years. Her date of separation was April 26th. She filed a petition on August 20th, and she was self-represented. I'm not sure why she's self-represented, but people can choose to be self-represented until they find a lawyer, which means perhaps she filed first and then now going to get an attorney. She checked off that no spousal support to both parties should be awarded. And because she doesn't have a prenup, let's dissect into what's going to happen in the divorce process. So first, as we know, everything earned before marriage is considered separate property. So her investments, allegedly, I heard $400 million in properties, investments, everything that grows from it, interest, dividends, all of that is her separate property. Then everything he and her earned during these two years up until the date of separation, not the date of filing, date of separation we know is April 26th of 2024. Between date of marriage and date of separation, everything earned through personal skill set. For example, when she's acting, when she's uh, opening her own new brand, new product. It's going to be interesting to to see how it unfolds because she has her uh, cosmetic line. And what if during the marriage she launched a new product and she put a lot of effort into it? So Ben Affleck could argue that he should get some of that. She will argue no because it was her separate property business. He will say no. It should be a little bit of community because it's a new product she launched within her separate property business and she put her personal skills. That's why I really, really encourage people. I know for some it's still considered not romantic. But hear me out. All these issues are not going to be an issue if you have a solid prenup, meaning solid not online prenup. A prenup that both attorneys on drafting side, on reviewing side, signed, advised, you disclosed all your financials, laid out everything that's going to happen in divorce. What if Ben Affleck doesn't work and he doesn't get a gig and she has her thing going and she ends up paying him spouse support? She's going to be devastated, right? It's They both have enough money not to want spousal support, but the numbers are what they are, and California law is what it is. So how to avoid that? Prenuptial agreement. It looks like Jennifer didn't do prenuptial agreement four times. And I heard, I haven't double-checked all the facts for sure, that she paid to all of her four husbands something. I don't know how much, but prenup potentially would have saved that. I say potentially because prenup is not 100% guarantee. If people are going through divorce, they typically respect the prenup, but some people, when they're really angry, they just try to set it aside for the heck of getting some kind of negotiation going. That is happening sometimes too. And if they lose, they have to pay attorney's fees uh, to the other side because the other side is the prevailing party. That can happen too because that's part of the provision in the prenup. If you challenge it, and you lose it, you have to pay my attorney's fees. So it's kind of a factor not to do it. So what's going to happen next? They, within 60 days from the time Jennifer filed, and 60 days from the time Ben is going to be served, personally, I assume, with the divorce paperwork, they have to disclose all their financial, current financial, which is assets and debt, income and expense declaration, same for him. And then they can sit at a table with a private mediator, hopefully seal the record so nobody knows where their assets are allocated and who lives where and everything else. Although we know they sold a big mansion over $60 million. Anyway, so that that, at that point, once they settle, they will sign a so-called marital settlement agreement, or we call it MSA. Then they will submit the package and hopefully with a private judge because court system could be a little bit slower 
a lot slower. And so once they submit it, the court private judge will approve it in the end. So they will have to go through the same steps like everyone else. Petition, service, response, or no response, then default with an agreement, judgment package. I would expect that their divorce to be complete within the next nine months. Typically, once you serve the other side and they do the disclosure, that's the, the disclosure part is slowing people down, down because the more assets they have, the more work there is to disclose. So, but since the divorce was very, very short lived, uh, probably could be go away potential price from one side to the other. I don't know who has more. And that's typically what happens in high net profile divorce cases. I hope that was helpful. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next consultation. Bye.